Identity 5 used to have an ability called Fetish. Between 2018 and 2020, the Hunter Persona web looked very different than it does today. It contained a bunch of passive traits that are no longer in the game, like Hindsight, which increased your attack recovery for every rocket chair destroyed by a toolbox, and Ravenflock, which alerted the Hunter whenever a survivor disturbed one of those crows that you can find around each map. There were also some more logical ones, like Lurk, which highlighted ciphers being decoded within a small radius of the Hunter, Wicked Hound, which increased how long scratch marks are visible, Eye for an eye, which highlighted survivors who pallet stunned you, cat and mouse, which was like hunt, but instead gave you a vaulting speed buff, and the infamous fallen misfortune, which had a detention style effect that I covered in another video. But what about the trait fetish? Well, that trait would increase the time it took survivors to break rocket chairs. Not sure if that will be meta nowadays, though. The name for the trait is also quite strange considering its effect, as we still don't know why 